Ugly Lies the Bone is about a female soldier, Jess, coming back to her Florida hometown. She's been severely scarred and wounded, and she's coming home and trying to figure out a way to fit back into her civilian life. And she is using this virtual reality video game therapy that's currently being tested to treat veterans with perpetual pain. What I loved about it was that it took a very harsh reality and a struggle and, and infused it with these really magical theatrical elements, which is the power of live theater. You know, I felt like it, it really took full advantage of everything that, uh, that that medium has to offer in terms of, of telling that story in a very, very rich and textured and imaginative way. I see this as a story of reconciliation, both with past hurts and present wounds. I actually have a lot of veterans in my family, and there's a lot that goes unspoken in families with veterans. Part of what this play does is uh, open up opportunities to have conversations about what it is to go through the kind of experience they go through and come home and try to reconcile that past. It's important to be able to see plays about our time in our time and have those be in conversations with the classics. And I think Roundabout is a place that gives those opportunities. We have a fantastic cast. I think Lindsay's language is so vivid and both very funny, but also weighted with a lot of emotions. And you have to have actors who can skate on top of with humor and love and the desire to move their life forward, a deep emotional well. I felt that Jess needed me, needed all of us. And uh, what I could offer as an actress would be to portray her truthfully and in doing so, defend her and protect her. This play examines truths that are, that are kind of hard to, to look at, to see, but impossible to ignore. It's vital that we, that we see these people and that we understand this struggle. And if people just leave with their eyes a bit more open, we've done a good job.